of them. This is your only warning. Abandon this city, or I will unleash your greatest fears. Tonight, Gotham falls. A city of fear rises. on the north end of Miyagani Island. The area is heavily protected by the Arkham Knight's drone forces. Be careful. I'm on my way.
Warning diagnostics. Thermal imaging shows the Archimedes tanks are unmanned and controlled remotely. You're clear to engage. Weapon systems online. Be careful. in pursuit of what you call justice. You are the product of everything you fear. Violence, darkness, helplessness. All that remains is for you to watch as I drag your beloved Gotham into oblivion. been running the plant for hours. They brought in trucks, weapons, soldiers, shipments of hazardous materials. They knew exactly what they were doing. Where do I find Scarecrow? All I know is he's moving ahead with his plan. And he's got a whole freaking army backing him up. We're screwed, Batman. I'll stop him. 
but first I'm getting you out of here. Great work. I knew you wouldn't let us down. We're not done yet, Jim. I'm going back for the others. started with the meeting. Everyone was there. Scarecrow said he had a plan. That together we could take you out. And Gotham would be ours. Over my dead body. I believe that was the idea. Remnants of Gotham. I have messages for you all. To the vandals who stayed behind to pick the still warm flesh from Gotham's bones. Have your fun. You are under my protection. To the cowards quaking behind the police department's walls. You will not be spared. And to Batman. I have already won. Emptied your city with a vial of toxin and a few threatening words. That's how little the safety you provided was worth. And when the dawn comes, Gotham lies in ruin, and I turn my gaze to the world beyond. The legend of the Batman will be worth nothing at all.
The prophecy has come true. From the ashes of Arkham City, the fires are raging, and Gotham is burning. I can see that same fire in your eyes. Before this night is through, that fire will consume you. Welcome to Rocksteady Studios and episode two of Arkham Insider. Last time we flirted with the all new feature, dual play. But this time we're gonna take you on a dual play buffet. And for dessert, we're taking video questions from an Arkham super fan. We are back on the world's most comfortable couch and I'm joined here by Tim Hannigan, the lead AI programmer at Rocksteady Studios. Tim, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? Good. It's been a tough project, it right? It has been a tough project, but we're nearly there. to the end. I can smell it. Smell the finish line. <laughs> it's just around the corner. Now, we showed a little bit of dual play in the All Who Follow You trailer. I promised everyone an all-you-can-eat smorgasbord of dual play. And I'm hoping you're the chef who can take us there. Yeah, I shall do my best, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Talk us through where we're at and what we're doing. So uh, what we're seeing here is Batman and Nightwing. They're going to team up. They've been tracking down Penguin. Mm -hmm. He's got these weapon caches throughout the city. So okay. he's, he's got these locations. He's hiding weapons. He's stockpiling weapons. He's right. kind of supplying the weaponry to the other people in, in Gotham City. Okay. And you and Nightwing have teamed up to try and track him down. So you as Batman are going to try and infiltrate yeah. and uh, join up with Nightwing inside the cache to take out the enemy. And we make a classic Batman entry straight through the ceiling straight and then the seamlessly ceiling. straight into combat. As always, straight into combat. So obviously the big goal with our combat system is always to go straight into yeah. combat and to be seamless once you're there. And then talk us through what happens from here in the context of dual play. So from here, you're both fighting at the same time. The AI is taking control of the character you are not controlling. Cool. Now at any point, as, as Batman, for example, you can switch to Nightwing, yeah. and the AI will switch to take control of the other character. Uh, if you're building your combo with Batman, and you, you see that there's an enemy over by Nightwing you want to take out, yeah. you can switch to Nightwing, you keep your combo. If you've got your special charged up, you can instantly use your super combo takedown on that side. Super combo takedown. And that's these sort of epic takedown moments where both characters team up for a complete KO on that thug. Yeah, if you build up your, your takedown meter by hitting the thugs, then it, when you've got enough uh, charged up, you can execute that free play takedown. And then what about other features that we've seen previously in, in free flow combat? We've got uh, weapons that you can pick up off the ground, we've got double and triple takedowns. So dual play sort of sits on top of all those pre-existing systems. Yeah. Well, all those systems integrate together, yeah. yeah. So there's, there's, no, there's no separate system involved. It's all kind of trying to flow together seamlessly is always the goal with free flow combat. Now you've been at Rocksteady from day one, so the combat that uh, everyone saw in Batman Arkham Asylum, this came out of your brainium. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. <laughs> I mean, obviously everything's a collaborative effort, so sure. uh, you know, working heavily with Sefton, working heavily with everyone on the team who's got input into you know, how they want the game to progress and how they want the combat to feel. So. And how does it feel for you having sort of been there uh, and, and been so critical in the creation of this, now it seems like such an expansive uh, new combat system that uh, it's incredible to think of where it came from and now where it's gone to. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty incredible to, to see where it's come to from, from those beginnings back on Arkham Asylum. I mean, I remember the prototype days yeah. and it was, uh, it was 2D combat. It was, <laughs> it was all sorts of different things in the early days, but now, you know, to see where it's come. And, and it's all because, you know, because of the input we've had from the team and, yeah. and the ideas we've had and the ways we've been able to progress it. Uh, due to the success of the previous games, it really allowed us to, to push it yeah. for this final. So Batman and Nightwing completely clearing house. It's an epic looking fight. The number of enemies that we've got in combat just seems to be almost out of control. We definitely had to up the count this time to account for the fact that there's two heroes in the room. Makes perfect sense. Tim, I think dual play is going to be one of those features that people go crazy for when they get their hands on Batman Arkham Knight. You have done an awesome job with this, but I know you're busy. You've got to get back to it, right? I do indeed. Thanks for your time. No problem. Tim Hannigan.
Hey, what's up you guys? It's Caboose XBL. You know that I've been covering Batman Arkham Knight on my channel for over a year now, and with two months to go, I've got some questions to ask. It seems Scarecrow has gotten Gotham City to evacuate in Batman Arkham Knight. What will be going on in the city to make it still feel filled with stuff to do 24-7? The streets of Gotham City are jam-packed with action. We've developed an emergent rioting system which sees all of the thugs of various factions ripping up the streets of Gotham and Batman can get involved in that any time he wants. On top of that, we've got the military forces loyal to the Arkham Knight. They are spreading their presence throughout the streets as the game progresses. We're talking tanks, we're talking mobile infantry, we're talking airborne drones. There's also members of the emergency services in peril and they need Batman's help. And then on top of all of that, we've got the Riddler with his ever-present threat. We all know the Joker is dead, but in the Arkham Knight prequel comics, it seems that he's left a permanent scar on Batman. Will we see elements of that within the Batman Arkham Knight story? The death of the Joker at the end of Batman Arkham City had a massive impact on Batman and the entirety of Gotham City. The chaos that Joker represented is no longer there, and that has allowed the Scarecrow to unify all of the forces of the rogues gallery, and that spells bad news for the Dark Knight. Besides the Batmobile, of course, what would you say was the most fun and most challenging new feature to create in Batman Arkham Knight? Building out the entirety of Gotham City in immense detail I think has probably been the biggest technical and creative challenge for everybody here at Rocksteady. Seeing the Gotham City that we've built come to life has been incredibly fun and so satisfying. But for me personally, I think the dual play features in the game are absolutely incredible. Teaming up with Catwoman for a dual play takedown, nothing beats that. It seems the Riddler is at it again in Batman Arkham Knight. One thing we all love to hate are those challenging puzzles to get the Riddler trophies. How hard are they this time around? If it's bright green and it's got a flashing question mark above it, you can bet your Batarang it's going to be tough. The Riddler's back and he is challenging Batman like he never has before. As a team, we've challenged ourselves to come up with some of the toughest riddles we can possibly think of. But we're not sending you out alone. The Riddler informants are also back, but this time it ain't going to be so easy to squeeze that precious intel out of them. Thank you so much for answering all the questions, and if you want to know where to find me, just search Caboose XBL on YouTube, or shine that bat signal up in the sky. See you guys later. If you've got any questions for us at Rocksteady, send them in, and we'll answer as many of them as we can. That's it for this episode of Arkham Insider. We'll see you next time. And don't forget, be the Batman. Sorry, I've got to go. Stay safe, Barbara. You still know how to make an entrance. Any lead on Scarecrow? We were tracking an unknown military vehicle speeding through Chinatown. It's the only lead we've had all night, but they gave us the slip. If you find it, tell your men not to engage. I'll deal with it. Do you really think Scarecrow's crazy enough to detonate a chemical weapon in Gotham? I won't let that happen, Jim. All units. We've got a 1033 in Sector 2. Missing patrol car. Hey, Batman. Every damn time. Oracle, I need the location of Unit 247. Already working on it. How's my dad doing? He's holding up. Somehow, he always does. Okay. I'm sending through the squad car's location. Be careful. It's not looking good out there.
You're safe. Thanks, Batman. I thought they were gonna kill me. The city's overrun. We don't stand a chance. Stay here. I'll send someone to pick you up. What are you doing? Evening the odds. How the hell did they get their hands on military hardware? Scarecrow. Go to hell! Where is he? I got nothing to say to you, Batman. Talk! Or I'll crush every bone in your body. Okay, okay! He's working out of a penthouse in Chinatown. I swear that's all I know! If you're lying, I'll break the other one. The other one? Check the chemical analysis I've just uploaded. Sure. Is this what I think it is? Scarecrow's new toxin. An uncontaminated sample. You're not kidding. I'll prepare a full chemical breakdown on the back computer. What are you going to do? Scarecrow's got a safe house nearby. I'm going to pay him a visit. Let's hope this is the break we've been waiting for. 